Boom shakalaka, bitch. We're back. And we're here with Ava. Give, give it up for Ava. She is an OF model. Is that right? Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. She's 25. She's a Sagittarius and she is hot as fuck. If you can't already tell. Well, thanks, Sarah. Well, I don't know if some, some of you guys might remember Ava from the episode where we were hiring people to be the new podcast co-host. So yeah, if I would have known that's what was going on, I would have never fucking showed up. (laughs) Well, thanks for doing it. Anyways, I appreciate it. You were super funny on that too. You definitely gave me a run for my money. One, none, and you're not even close. Okay. 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 Next up how we met. Um, I mean, you can kind of take the reins with this if you want. It's pretty short. Um, we went to middle school together and we saw our first vagina at the same time on the school bus. It was a short bus. You don't have to ask that question. I'll answer it for you. Um, and I lived with a family that lived three houses down from Sarah and her family. So Yep. We bonded that way. Yes. Vaginas are a great way to bond with yes. other people with vaginas. Yes, absolutely. It was definitely. And also I fucking love the bus. I learned so much on that thing. I loved the bus too. It was the only time I could feel peace in between. <laughs> between you know, your transit. In your between home places. life. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Um, also Ava is best friends with one of my best friends, older sisters. Who? Oh God. Oh, <laughs> we'll take this out. <laughs> We're t- We're taking this out. Okay, next up. (laughs) Recent news, guys. Uh, It was Thanksgiving. Yep. All right. I want to hear about your Thanksgiving, but first, I guess I'll tell them a little bit about mine. I went to go see my dad's side of the family. Period. Yes. No dad does. No dad dad, but everyone else? (laughs) What? Do they have dad does? Are they alive? Oh, yes, yes, (laughs) yes, yes. All of them are alive. Not the funeral home or the the cemetery. Even though that's like a very comfortable place for me to be at. Me too. Um, But (laughs) it was kind of awkward because the last time I saw my family, I blacked out at a family wedding. Yeah. So I was just like. You have to black out at weddings. I know. I feel like you you have to black out when you go to a wedding. Yeah. I'm going to black out at my own wedding. You're going to black out before I show up. That seems on brand for you, dude. Yeah. It'll be the first one. So I don't, it won't count. I don't know if I'll black out at my wedding, but I could see myself greening out if I get too stressed. Fuck yeah, dude. That would be crazy. You being up at the altar and he's like, do you take me as your lawfully wedded husband? And you're like, sure. Sure. <laughs> um, okay. Next. Oh, next up. Friendsgiving. I think I saw, didn't you have a Friendsgiving? Oh, every, every Thanksgiving I go to is a Friendsgiving because I'm an orphan. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yep. That's a thing, guys. So Ava doesn't have any parents, which makes her hotter. Yes. Um, I don't know if you guys knew this, but trauma actually breeds uh, sexiness. Yeah, pretty much. And OnlyFans models. Honestly, yeah. Yes. That's, I'm this close. People be like fatherless activities. I'd be like, who are you telling? This yeah. ain't news to me. Ava, Ava, while we're on the topic, I feel like you need to be served right now. Do you mm. need like a snack? Like maybe a uh, cheese it Yes, a cheese it, please. Right here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Faster, Shane. Seriously. Male servant. Just one. Just one. Just one. Mm. Okay, get the fuck out. <laughs> get the- mm, that was good. That was good. I like that one. Do you like Shane? I don't know. I have to smell him later and see for sure. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. a new addition to the show. I don't know how I feel about him. His penis is big, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see it through the- No, look at that shit. Damn! Damn! Okay, also, mm. it was Ava's 25th birthday. Mm, yeah, I turned us. 25. Um, I have been staring at myself in the mirror a lot. That's what I was talking to you about, the, the device. Ooh. So I recently was on my period, so I wanted to kill myself. And um, I looked at myself too long in the mirror and decided that everything was not right. So I bought something on Amazon for $400. I wasn't really sure what it did, but it sends electrical currents into my face. Ooh. Thought about using it on my vagina. Haven't yet. Will update. (laughs) So anyways, that's my 25th birthday. Dude, let me know how that goes for sure. It's like you have to put, it's actually like lube. You have to put lube Lube. on your face and then you put the, it's like two big balls. I'm not even, I'm not even being funny. It's called the new face. Sponsor me. I I've heard of that before. Yeah. Oh, oh, bitch, sorry. <laughs> I had to get that out. <laughs> Bitches use it to like snatch their face up. But I think it's a placebo, but it got me because mm. I, you know, woman goes on period, woman buys thing. 
women use this thing, pretends it works. Mm. Anyway, yeah, two big metal balls, they go on your face, they zap you. Okay. It's not like a vibration. It's kind of like a vibration, but it's more of a zap. <laughs> So I'm really curious what I'd feel like on my vagina. I've never owned a sex toy in my life, though. So you've never owned a sex toy. I've never toy? owned a sex toy. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> okay, let me just say I'm literally the queen of sex toys. I literally have like a whole chest really? full of sex toys. Yeah, but then I brought it out the second time fucking somebody, and they were like, "You're a whore." The second time? Do you have to wait until that- like the fourth? Usually I wait until we've the second time, <laughs> the second time, but I thought that's what guys liked, but apparently not. They're like, don't tie me up. Don't whip me. I would, I'd want you to. Okay. Well, okay. Wait, it depends. What? I mean, what? why are you even question, Dude, I, would I like whip- little, I like little guys to do things they're not really meant to do. Like be stronger than me. I'm littler than you. <laughs> No, but like my fantasy is like a five foot four man um, approaching me in public and saying, you're coming home with me. Hopefully I'll already be pretty drunk at this point, but if not, no problem because I've thought this through. Takes me home, chains me. I, I'm thinking like, you're so mommy. <laughs> I'm thinking like double handcuff, but then turn of events, I break out, beat the fuck out of him. He dies. <laughs> Dude, that's like best case scenario, honestly. Also, I yeah. actually know like a, what did you say? Five foot guy? Five foot five foot three. Five foot three. Um, hey, male servant, I was really needing something real quick, male servant. Can you please bring the lip gloss? Mm. He, I was gonna say. He's actually pretty short. <laughs> he's like, not short enough. Yeah, like, there you go. There On you your go. knees. No. <laughs> Mm. Good boy. Okay, get the fuck out. No. Okay. Yeah, that was enough. Um, <laughs> dude, I feel like I have the opposite fantasy. Like, I want like an mm. ogre bitch, lumberjack version. Yeah, somebody to like suffocate me, like, mm. like, like hurt you. Y- yeah, preferably like punch you in the face. Um, no, I would rather punch him in the face. Okay, yeah. So what does he do? Like sit on you with his big little boy butt? <laughs> oh, I would like that. Yeah, I-, I like boy butts because I like everything that isn't right in the world. Yeah, boy butts are so wrong. I feel like I'm like think that I would def- if I was in love enough. I feel like I would eat out a man's asshole. You haven't? For sure. No, I haven't. <gasps> but that's because I haven't gotten there yet mentally. Okay, okay. And also, I'm too scared of poop. <laughs> no, yeah. They don't, clean the, they don't clean the poop right. Yeah. Oh, they definitely <laughs> do. Girl butt tastes good. Boy butt scared. Damn it. I've never had girl butt before, but I have had boy butt. You never had girl butt? No. And that's like going to be a question that comes up, but I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to have girl pussy, girl butt, girl yeah. booby. Honestly. Girl everything. To rank all three of those things in order, I'd say girl butt takes number one. Damn. Damn. We wipe. <laughs> um, okay. Next up. Oh yeah. This is from Ava's 25th birthday. Yes, Everybody's yes. looking so beautiful. Those are my bitches. Oh, 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 this, I wanted to ask you about this. So I keep getting these oh, messages. I got that too. Am I getting sex trafficked? Uh, uh, yes. You- okay. <laughs> I thought you've already been, I thought this was what that was. <laughs> yeah. This is what this whole, this operation that we're running right here, this guys. Sex trafficking ring. Yes. I've okay. gotten probably like seven of those before. And, uh, I never, I, I almost click them. If I'm on, <laughs> I want the UPS package. I want the UPS, UPS package. What if it's my little drugs I bought? I know. I heard on Good Morning America that this is how people are getting sex traffic though. Oh. So nobody answer that. Good Morning America said that? Yeah, but they're all liars. I was going to say they're boomers. What do they know about sex trafficking? Yeah, there's a whole cheating scandal Actually, on Good Morning America. The they're corrupt. Yeah, I heard about that. Me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is the big sis tips segment Period. where basically we just give um, big sister tips for the people who don't have big sisters. Aww. And this one is the only one I have right now. And it's actually, okay. I added this because I want to know from you because everybody's asking me how to be a hot girl. Well, you know how. I know. I'm a weird girl. I like literally go from zero to 100 real quick. And well, yeah, but. That's hot. Okay, but you want to know what's not hot that happened to me this weekend? <laughs> oh God, do I? Um, like, so I'm looking good right now, right? I right. look, I looked even better this weekend. Um, there's, there might have been a male who was with me, and he may or may not have found a toenail <laughs> in my bed. Okay, was this before or after the sex? Toys? After. Oh, okay. 
So what do you do in that situation? Okay, okay, okay. You own it. You say, what, bitch? You don't grow toenails? <laughs> and if you do, do you not cut them? Because let me see your fucking toenails right okay. now. And you know what? He, yeah. And then he goes, okay, woman with vagina and nipples that I want to <sighs> maybe perhaps look and suck. Okay. I, I, I appreciate your clippings and I'm perhaps going to keep it in my pocket. Okay. You're so right. That's the right answer. You're so right. <laughs> and then, dude, you know what's even funnier after that is the fact that you said keep it in his pocket. I let him, <laughs> it gets worse. <laughs> I am not meant for this life. I let him borrow a jacket. Uh-huh. And then after I let him borrow the jacket, because it was cold out and he didn't have a jacket, yeah. I texted him slack. after and I was like, wait a second. I was like, oh, I'm getting really stressed out. Was there anything weird in my jacket? <laughs> sure enough. <laughs> He found an, another nail, like literally a, a fingernail. You're that, a gatherer. You're a girl. That, you're just no, a girl. That had a smiley face on it. And I was like, I'm so sorry. Like, this really isn't like me. This is like me at this point. No, this, it's like It's you. happened twice. And he was like, I just don't understand why you would keep it. It looked like really messed up. Because like, we don't like to get rid of things. What if we need it in the future? What if we need to prove that perhaps maybe... I don't actually can't think of a scenario where I you need d- it, but I told him that I just care about the environment yeah. and I wasn't trying to litter. So You're fuck you. Litter. Yeah. So he can, he can be like, and mommy, he, it's okay. Okay. Yeah. Can I frame it? And then that's the end. Do you like being called mommy? <laughs> um, okay. No shade, no tea. I love the kinksters. I'm not a kink shamer, but parents again, it's a sore subject for me. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said the word mommy, like in my whole life, unironically, so for a man or perhaps some sort of subordinate to call me mommy, it feels unnatural, like a different language. Oh, but okay. Like, but like, I appreciate that other people do it on like, like my little persona, you know? Yes. Like, yes. But the true Ava, because your, your girls won't know me probably. Well, they're going to know you well, now. Yeah, know me now. But our demographics are t- completely different. Like my demographic is like him. More four hundred thousand yeah. of him, middle aged men, uh, anywhere from like thirty to fifty five. <laughs> okay, I've had, I've had people approach me in public, and you could guess what they look like every single time. Damn, every single. There was one girl, and she was a stripper, and we were at a bar, and it was around three a.m. and I was sad, and I saw her, and she goes. Ava and I go do we know each other she's like no I follow you on TikTok and I go you're gonna make me cry and I cried damn and then she talked about how she had a client at the strip club that um turned out to be a pedophile and so she was gonna show up to his house and kill him I can't can't lie she did look like she was too young to be in the bar so it's not surprising that's real damn I love you I don't remember your name but I love you so much if you ever see this yeah shout out to that fan yeah and don't shout out to pedophiles. Don't shout out to pedophiles. Don't. Only shout out to pedophiles if you're gonna sh- if you're gonna shoot if you're gonna kill them. Are we allowed to say kill? I like to say I can, I say kill all kill men all the time. All men. Kill all men. No, I love some men. <laughs> okay, wait, we're gonna, we're gonna get there. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, okay. Could my male servant come back just one more time, just yourself, just by yourself, and just stand right here because. I've never actually been called mommy. So like, I kind of want want, it to happen. Yeah. I want to know what it feels like. So I would like you to just call both of us mommy real quick. Mm -hmm. Hello, mothers. (laughs) That's not what I asked. That was too like child that doesn't actually love his parents. Mother. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, mommy. (laughs) There you go. Oh, shit. Okay. Would you prefer Foster mommy? Yeah, that's a good okay. one. <laughs> can you can Fuck you say harder foster oh, mommy? <laughs> can you please say um I'm so sorry about your dead dad? Yeah. Of course. Okay. I'm so sorry about your dead dad. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that's that's Don's winning them. No! Okay, get the fuck out of here, dude. <laughs> okay. So that was big sis tips. Oh, okay. Celeb news. Mm. Um, I don't know if you're in on the, I'm in on everything. Okay. I like it. I think it's fun. I love fucking <laughs> gossip and shit. So mm. much shit. Me too. <laughs> okay. First up, uh, Beyonce dyed her hair platinum. <sighs> okay. Well, can I be real with you? That's a wig. wig. Oh, shit. second of all, I've been really obsessed with color palettes recently. So for you, I'd say you're a spring, but I'd say you're like either a true or a light or a light spring. Cause you have like, Fair-ish skin, but you have a warm undertone, and your hair is golden. It's not too... So, anyway, Beyonce's, oh! a, Beyonce's a winter. Is she? Yes, she's a winter because she looks good in silver. The whole fucking Renaissance tour was silver, and she looks stunning in platinum blonde hair. That's my opinion. 
She looks, dude, no, I've never seen her with this hair color. It looks so fucking good. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, when I wear silver, I look like a ghost. <laughs> well, then you're a fucking spring. And I told you so. <laughs> Thank you. If you look up other springs, it's like Blake Lively and Emma Stone. Okay. And like the bitches with the freckles. I can see that. I feel yeah. like Emma Stone would be similar to me. Yeah. Color palette. Pink's okay. great. Pink's great. <laughs> Pink's great. Okay. Up, yeah, let me me. fix my tits real quick. I know, I keep feeling like I should do it, but I'm not joking about how my nipple may come out. I know, your tits look really good. Literally, Thank you. I'm not even going to lie, guys. I put I put some fucking flags in here. Um, yeah, for comedic effect. Yeah, it's... We need some help on this podcast. Okay, I also don't want to show my nipple. Um, um, If you got pregnant, you would want to show it. I would want to show it. have never looked better than when I was pregnant. Damn it. Twice. Okay, somebody get me pregnant. <laughs> Okay, but just for a little. Yeah. Take only a bunch of really good pics of your tits. <laughs> Should I be pregnant for at least a month? Yeah. A month. Yeah. No, like Let it honestly brew. two. Two? Two and a half. Like, yeah. You I, might get sick and depressed, but mm, I'm pretty sick and depressed. So, <laughs> well, only the tits will yep. change then. And then you're, you're golden. Well, on the topic of pedophiles. Oh, I don't know if you guys heard about this, but this guy, fucking Josh Giddy or whatever, Mm -hmm. I guess there's speculation that he got with a minor, but I guess he's, people are kind of like clearing of of his charges right now because he met the chick at a bar. Yeah. Okay. I, hot take, mm -hmm. um, abominable take, hot for (laughs) some I'm kidding. Uh, No, he's, he's, Uh, actually, no. no, I don't like his mouth. No, his mouth is weird. I saw a Snapchat of him like up close and that's where you get personal. Not hot. However, I saw the, I saw the videos of him and the 15 year old girl. Oh, in the, in the bar. I think she was 15 or 16. I don't actually know. I don't pay attention to sports. However, uh, I saw the Snapchat. She's a baddie. She's a little 16 year old jailbait baddie. Should he have fucked her? No. Did he? Who knows? <laughs> Will he go to jail? Let's see. Let's see. I'll meet you there, baby. I'm oh. just kidding. That's not funny. Oh. <laughs> I was wondering. No, I literally brought this up too because uh, since you guys don't really know Ava, she does have a thing for younger guys. Yeah. I hate that you know that. Yeah. Everybody in the goddamn world knows that. I'm not a pedophile. She's I just, not a pedophile. She just likes to toe the line. Again, and I didn't grow up with parents, so I never, no one ever was there to teach me the, the difference between wrong and right, child and adult. I did have a younger boyfriend in middle school who I did a lot of bad things with. Well, um, can you believe his okay, name? Okay, I'll believe his name. Do you remember? No. Okay, well, basically. Oh, you're younger than me, so I would never yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, whatever. But basically, I in eighth grade, I sucked this guy's dick every single oh. day before school. And he was younger? And he was a year younger. Okay. That's it. Only a year. But it literally got so bad. I was doing it in the winter time. Like I was determined. (laughs) That's the best time to suck dick. We were doing it in this house that we thought was abandoned. But then one day the walls got boarded up and then there was like a sign that was like for sale. So they were like renovating it. And then we had to pick a new spot and we picked behind this dumpster. And I like was sucking his dick one day and my Mm. knees started bleeding. And then Mm. I showed up to school late and my school counselor pulled me aside and she was like, this really doesn't look good. <laughs> bitch, why are your knees bloody? You're in eighth grade. <laughs> I know. I told her I fell, but. Said, bitch, I'm a freak. What about it? Yeah. Eat my toenail. I got a lot of good practice, dude. That's amazing. He liked his balls. <laughs> he did? How do you even know what you like when you're in seventh grade? I don't know. He knew, dude. Uh, my only seventh and eighth grade experience that was sexual was when I was dating an oh. older guy. And by dating, I mean like we hung out one time. Okay. But um, he was in serious relationship. He was in high school. <laughs> it was fucking serious. I was planning our wedding. Um, he was in high school. I think he was a freshman or sophomore. But like I was in seventh or eighth grade, and he took me to the movie theater with two of his friends. And when I say I thought I was about to get a train ran on me in the middle of the Hunger Games, I swear to God, because I was sitting there, his friend here, him here, his other friend here, and then he just reaches over into my pants. <laughs> his hand and goes crazy and i'm sitting there and i'm like first of all he doesn't know what he's doing i didn't feel i I didn't i wasn't like stimulated i was like are you looking for something did you misplace your dab pen i don't know what you high schoolers do um but yeah and then his finger was going to going to crazy town and I craved it ever since. Dude, <laughs> I love a good finger. I love a good finger. <sighs> well, that was weak, dude. That was, I mean, it I, was airy. I'm you trying, got a lot out. Yeah, maybe. It was good. Okay. Just maybe chug. Should we chug? Yeah, yeah, we should probably chug. Cheers. Cheers. Should we, should we link arms? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I didn't mean to play that sound. Okay, okay, next up. Oh, <laughs> the cricket. <laughs> well, I know. I didn't mean to put the cricket sound. Amish um, potheads? Amish potheads inside the booming cannabis business of traditional farmers in Pennsylvania. Dude, the Amish, I never had a lot of respect for them. Well, <laughs> more than Mormons, for sure. <laughs> yeah, dude, fuck the Mormons, bro. They're cult leaders, though. Actually, I respect them for that. Wait, which one's poly- polygamous? Polygamous is which one had the Mormon. Show? Mormon? Mormon. Okay, and- so Am- Amish are cool? With that, honestly, I I rock with the them. Amish. Yeah, I, I rock with the Amish a little bit, but like I understand the hate because like use a phone. You know what I mean? Yeah, like why don't you just get a fucking car? <laughs> They're not that expensive. Turn a light on. You're not going you to hell. You can get okay. one off of Facebook Marketplace. Also, which one's soaking? Mormon. Mormon. Okay. Yes. So yes. The Amish are chill. Okay, I always confuse the two. Yeah. Have you ever soaked? Uh, not with the intention to soak, but yes. Yeah. Oh, the Amish soak too. Okay. Thank you to my producer. Amish, Amish soak mm-hmm. or just Mormon? Both I, of them. Both. Oh, really? Amish. You know, I could have sworn the BYU bitches were like, I, they be soaking. They be soaking. I think they both soak and I've soaked, but only after sex do I soak. Yeah. Like, you know, after they come, it's like, just stay there. For just stay there for a second. It's usually not me that craves it. It's usually the counterpart with the penis, but um, there was one time I dated a guy for like literally just a month and he couldn't ever get fully hard. I was like, it's okay to come out. That happened to me. He didn't want to come out and he, <sighs> he swore to God he was straight. Damn dude. That did happen to me. It was like the four times that I fucked him every yeah. single time he couldn't get hard or stay hard. And then he took oh a Viagra. God. Did he? <laughs> <laughs> That one was good, guys. Okay, uh, well, I fucked this guy pretty much every day for a month, and he never got 100% erect. It's a little different. If someone's got ED, I guess you could, like, have trouble maintaining a boner, but he never, like, it was like, how do you even put it in? It was big, though. Oh, dude, big dick. Uh, Big big dick with the soft dick. Should we say that? We're going to have to bleep so much. With I this know. One, probably. I'm kind of wondering how big our male servant's dick is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. That here. bush, though. Mm. The bush and the balls. You want to come over real quick? We can take a little peek at this. I might just have to censor all of this. But as you guys can see, this is the dick. It's pretty small. But the balls. I'll put it this way. The picture is Italian, but I'm Jewish. Period. He said it. We didn't. I love Jews. Yeah. I love how hairy you are. I love Jews. I actually. I, I, sorry. <laughs> should I go? You look like Tarzan. Jewish Tarzan. Yeah. Yeah. But with no rights. Could you imagine Tarzan with like a yarmulke on? <laughs> That'd be sexy. I would oh, yarmulke on that dick. <laughs> yeah. No, honestly, I take back the fantasy about the 5'2 guy. Take Tarz- the cartoon version of Tarzan. Make him um, traditionally Jewish. That's it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> was like, it like Jesus Christ? Wasn't he a Jew? He was. I got it right. <laughs> New, I don't know, dude. New fantasy just dropped. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, okay, celeb news. They're, oh, uh, they're wanting oh. to uh, cast a Twilight reboot with oh possibly God. Jacob Elordi and then um, Jenna Ortega. Okay. Have you heard about this? Um, I briefly saw something. I had to shut my laptop immediately. I was going to have an orgasm. Dude, I've had, so hot. <laughs> I've had sex dreams about Jacob Elordi and Jenna Ortega both. But I had a sex dream about Jacob Elordi last night. And I, I don't feel the same. You don't feel the same after? If this happened, I'd probably have to kill. I have to, I'd probably have to do a, a mercy killing of myself in the middle of the theater. Do you feel born again? I, I feel a lot of things. <laughs> oh, shit. I was a big fucking Twilight girl. I was one of those bitches that had every inch of their room covered in Twilight shit. I see that for you. I can see you with some wolves. I'm not even joking. I, I You know the Eclipse cover? It's like a ribbon. Mm-hmm. I begged my dad to get me a ribbon. <laughs> He got me a ribbon. I made it look so fucking stupid on the wall. I just like pinned it up. Oh my God. I used to masturbate under that all the time. It's crazy. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Anyway. So you used to masturbate? <laughs> I started masturbating. What time, what age did you start masturbating at? Uh, probably 13. Damn. So we're 12 years strong. No dildo. No vibrator. I haven't even tried like, tried like with a toothbrush or like. 
Okay. <laughs> I hate you. I, know, I actually I know. hate you so much. But I also have a serious masturbation addiction. Okay. So it's like put not- your boner away, dude. People behind the screen. Um, no, dude. The first time I was so nervous to touch myself because since my dad's dead, I just always thought he was watching down on me mm, yeah. while I was while I was I masturbating. Too. No, like straight up. Yeah. Yes. So I would try to do things to oh. masturbate that were technically not masturbating. So oh. so uh, you want to know pillows? Something? Would you hunt pillows? Oh, well, I did one time, <laughs> but the main thing, oh, I also would take my EO, like EO's lip balm yeah. and I would put that like on underneath me in class and I'd be like, oh, oh my okay. God. Yeah, yes, but that's oh. not what I was going to say. That's not what I was going to say. I was going to say one time I was like, I saw the way that slugs reacted with salt oh. and I was like, oh, it makes them tingle. Oh. So then I was like, Ooh, let me try that. So then I literally took some kosher salt. I was like 12 or 13 and I poured like a whole thing of kosher salt on my vagina. It started burning so bad, so bad. It was like a slug. It shriveled up and I had ice. I don't know. <laughs> and then I didn't touch myself for two years. That slays. Yeah, and now I have no idea how to fucking make myself come. <laughs> okay, well, these hands have seen things and felt things. I can't even describe. No, those look like they'd make me come. <laughs> hey, they make me come. I think I came 14 times today. That's oh, a real bad. I'm not even being Are you funny. actually being for real? I'm actually being for real. I came twice today, actually. I, I spent a lot of time in my bed alone. I don't really leave my house. I like to masturbate and order DoorDash, play Minecraft. That's sexy, dude. Anyway, you should invite me over. You should. <laughs> Except for, actually, I can't say that. Never mind. Okay, okay, chill. Oh, wait, I have something to say, but I totally forgot. Oh, first time I ever masturbated, I was in my closet. I started, I had access to a phone when I was 11. Oh, it, it was that's one of those, bad. It was one of those fi- phones that slide up so you could text easier, but I found a way to find porn on it. But, um, yeah, I was in my closet because I felt like for some reason I was going to be loud. Okay, yeah. I was like, went into my room, went in my closet, closed the door. Be like- I, like, compiled it with, like, because I'd seen the videos. I was like, what if I scream? My dad's fully home with his girlfriend. I'm, like, masturbating in my closet. Oh, my God. Uh, but, yeah, I remember I was like, did I just have an orgasm? And I was like, there's no way I didn't. Yeah. And then I was, I think I was 12 or 13 years old. Dude, good for you, bro. I know. Dude, that kind of reminds me of you watching fucking porn on that little flip phone or whatever. Yeah. I, the first place I started watching porn was on Twitter, but I didn't realize that on Twitter that when you like, like when you retweet things, I thought that that was your way of saving it privately. I didn't think that you could see you it. You ran a full porn account. You didn't even yes. know. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I literally started retweeting all my favorite porn because I thought I could. I thought it was just saving it, and then one of my teachers from yeah. followed me, and I learned very fast. Which one was it? <clears throat> um, the school counselor. <laughs> oh fuck, that's really funny. She really liked me. I still text her sometimes. Yeah, she she knew the vibes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got like two minutes left, so we'll go through this really quick. Okay. But this is the um, Sarah O'Sullivan dictionary segment. Huh. Um, every single week, I bring up three new words or phrases that I like to say. Yeah, and we go into detail. But so the first one, uh, the phrase of the week is "Do you have weed?" And the definition is "Can, Can I, I smoke, smoke your, your weed?" weed? <laughs> I knew that one. You knew that one. I knew that one. My friends come over. They're like, do you have any weed? I'm like, bitch, I know you see the eighth sitting over there. Just yeah. fucking take it. It's fine. Okay. Thank you. I speak your language. I'm glad <laughs> it resonates. Um, next one is back to school shopping. <laughs> and the definition for back to school shopping is stealing at forever 21. Yeah. I, uh, I think I've stolen more from forever 21 than I've spent legally in any store. And it was mostly when I was in high school. Yes. Yes. My dad didn't give me money. Me have no daddy. <laughs> Period. We have to steal. It's just our. It's our job. I know. I think. I think as a woman, though, that like we should all be allowed like a penalty free period to do that because we used to be gatherers. That's what I'm saying. That's what I said about your toenail. It's like it's not her fault she wants to keep her little trinkets. I, I'm just gathering. She's shit. gathering. <laughs> She's just a girl. <laughs> I'm just gathering all these makeup brushes. Okay. And then the last one is um, he didn't make me come, and the definition is okay. So normal. <laughs> I mean, there's really nothing else to say about that. I really don't think I've ever talked to a girl this year, maybe before I was 25. I've never talked to a girl about a sexual experience and been like, so did you have an orgasm? That's, that's, just, not, that's not, that doesn't happen. Yeah, no, no. You're, you're never like, 
oh, did you pleasure? Did you, yeah. did you finish? Did yeah. you, it was more like, what did his butthole smell like? And was his penis small? That was the Sarah's dictionary segment. We're going to go into the, I hate men segment right after this. So stay <laughs> tuned for that. Thank you so much, Thank guys. Thank you. All righty then. We're back. Uh, and it's for the I hate men for comedy purposes segment. Love men. Hate um, them so much. Yeah. I'm glad that you hate men too. I mean, I've been, <laughs> you know what I mean? That'll make you hate them. <laughs> that will do it. You're going to bleep it out. <laughs> it's like, what have I been? You'll no. never know. Liter- literally every single girl ever has been sexually every, assaulted. And it's never by another woman. Let me tell you that. Okay. No. That happened. That, happened to you? that did actually happen to me, but we don't need to get into that. That was out of character, and she was foreign, and yeah, it doesn't pertain to our motive here. So we're yeah, gonna no, that out. yeah, actually, that never happened. Never, never. Only men. Um, okay. Well, first up, all right. If I could have my male servant come over here and stand in the middle um, right now, guys, my male servant is going to sign a contract to relinquish his rights. Um, I'm just going to read out the contract real quick. So that way we're all on the same fucking page. Maybe put on my sunglasses too. Okay. I male servant say that I male servant hereby relinquish all my rights to Sarah O'Sullivan. And then if you want to read the rest, that would be fine. I uh, hereby relinquish all of my rights to Sarah O'Sullivan. She is like a god to me. I will kiss her feet and worship her as long as she decides to keep me around until she is eventually discards me for someone better. I have no rights. Sarah is in charge of my bodily an- autonomy. I also act as an organ donor for Sarah. Even if it's a vital organ, anything Sarah does to me, I deserve. Thank you, Sarah O'Sullivan, for giving me the opportunity to serve you with zero compensation. You are mommy. <laughs> All right. Now, if you could just sign this real quick to make it all solidified. Sign it! And that's a real legal contract? Yeah, that'll do for now. All right. Thank you so much, mail servant. You can leave now, you piece of shit. <laughs> okay. God, I love doing that. I've done that four times, actually. You, you've taken other people's rights? Yes. Oh. I'm uh, currently using Huevo's uh, liver. Oh. And my brain is actually that of a 56-year-old Israeli <laughs> IDF soldier. Dude, that makes sense why you're so fucking creepy, dude. I know. I'm creepy as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I'm creepy too, but it's my own brain, so I have no excuse. Period. Um, okay. First up, uh, what is the worst thing about <laughs> men, in your opinion? I'm going to start off with something a little bit more lukewarm today, okay? I said a whole bunch of stuff about wanting to kill him, slit the wrist and whatnot. Um, but today I'm going to say the thing I hate most about men is they just don't understand foreplay. Like literally you want to kiss me for two minutes and then put your dick inside of me. Like, no, oh. like I want, I want you to kiss my neck for like 30 minutes and tell me how much of a pretty princess I am. And then maybe we can fuck. Okay. Yeah. No, I mean, thing is about me i think that i've never been a foreplay girl because i i I consider all moments of the day to be foreplay (laughs) damn (laughs) because i'm saying i'm like you got to butter me up it doesn't take 30 minutes it doesn't take an hour yeah i have to be actively um horny for you like 24 48 72 (laughs) hours before it happens or it's not gonna happen because i get grossed out real bad by cum and butt you know, I told you that earlier. You get grossed out by coming, but I get grossed out by coming, but only if I don't love you. And I will love you if you take the time. And the time is not thirty or an hour. I'm so sorry. <sighs> it's way longer. I have to be like schmoozed. Yeah, you have to. You have to love bomb me. Oh to, no. To have sex oh. With me. Oh, I like the tease. I'm saying foreplay for thirty minutes, but I've known them for four years. Oh, <laughs> like, like wow. I have to like really. No, dude. There was this one guy I fucked after five years of knowing him. Oh and my the god. The shortest amount of time I've ever fucked somebody in was, I guess, my ex, and I knew him for like a month before wow, I fucked you're him. You're serious? Well, also you came for the first time when you're 19, so that makes sense. I yeah. personally have had more one night stands than not. Actually, one time I was at the cave in Lawrence. Mm. and i think i was underage probably and i saw a guy that actually looked a lot like tarzan when i was saying that oh i thought you were gonna say like me (laughs) i was about to be like that fucking bitch (laughs) i saw that guy and i told my friend i go i'm gonna fuck him don't know how don't know when don't know why don't know where (laughs) but i did it in his car 30 minutes later dude that's so hot men are easy but i'm not looking to have men are easy i'm not looking to have like the whole experience see the sex Sex is like in three categories for me, right? It's like fucking in the car when you met somebody 30 minutes ago. Okay. It's like being in love and having passionate sex. And then it's being. Oh, 
She said it. I didn't, dude. Sorry. I mean, those are all totally different things, too. So it's like, yeah, what's really cheating if you do one and not the other? <laughs> I don't know the answer to that. I do. Yeah. For me, the rape one, th- <laughs> thankfully, I've never experienced that. I'm so, so I'm very sorry for your loss. Oh, that's fine. I don't, I mean, I block it out. Yeah. It's blocked out. Okay, good, good. Yeah, that, that's I'll, what I do with things, too. That's what I, yeah. Just decom, just just forget <laughs> just forget i can remember if i try hard enough don't <laughs> but i don't do that okay um i think this is the last one or maybe not oh oh yes if you had to give one man rights who would it be because obviously most men don't i mean honestly no men noah beck you want to give noah beck rights yes bitch what he's the cunty f- uh i guess he is cunty i think he's got some secrets I know his secrets, actually. Oh! I'm not going to say how, but it involved a one-night stand, and it wasn't with him. (laughs) No need. No need. I already knew that, dude. That's the secret I thought he had up his sleeve. Um, Oh, I mean, it's not really... I mean, Noah Beck, I love you. If you're you're watching this, I just want to let you know I'm your ally. Yes. And I care about you. We know that you're an ally. (laughs) I'm such an ally. Um, what would I, oh, if I had to give one yeah. man rights, uh, Matthew Gray Goobler. Oh, so hot. He's so hot. He deserves all the rights in the world. Yeah. I honestly would let him kill me. No, that would be like hot. If, yeah, I want him to have a bloody fucking face. Take that Ooh. knife, stab me, fuck have you ever, me. Have you ever done period blood stuff? All the time. Oh God, it's my favorite. Yeah, it's lubed up. It's lubed up. It looks fucking weird. You like it. You get turned on for, that's like. It's like borderline <laughs> the third type of sex we were talking about. Oh, it's like, are you hurting me? I don't know. Maybe R- not. Rape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I honestly, no, I feel like the guy that I was just with, mm. I feel like I might've been on my period. It was like one of those days where it's like, you get one drop and you're like, fuck. And then, yeah. but it was happening in the dark. And then I was like really tempted to like wipe him up after. The Cause best. I like didn't want him to see, but that never happened. So maybe he went home with a surprise. <laughs> you, you should try this thing where you turn all the lights off completely dark. It has to be nighttime or you have to have blackout curtains. You're on your period full blown, like third day. I live in a basement. Yeah. And you have sex on nothing but a white sheet. And then you turn the lights on at the end. You try to have sex as many times as possible, by the way. I'm not talking one and done. I'm talking like an hour and a half, maybe three rounds, right? Yeah, yeah. Turn the lights on, frame it. Oh! Take the sheet off, put it on the wall, frame it. Memorabilia. Oh, wait. (laughs) That's not the one I would... Uh, okay, I'm done with this thing. I wanted to do the magical sound. You gotta get, you gotta get a little sticker with a name on it. <laughs> I know. I, you can kind of see it. I don't have my glasses on. I mean, either. But my eyes been closed this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm trying to eat you out. Um, <laughs> okay, this is the hot or not segment. Okay. All right, where basically we just decide if things are hot or not. Okay. Um, let's see. First up, uncircumcised hot. penises. Oh, I love that. Sorry. Not sorry. I, okay. I did say I love Jews, which is true. I have a very odd preference for Jews before I even know that they're Jewish. Should I However, get our Jewish person over here? I mean, only if he's going to show us his uncircumcised penis. <laughs> oh, wait, a circumcised penis. Circumcised. I know what Jews mean. I know what they do to their penises when they're born. Oh, yes. yes the Jews are start, circumcised. That's where they, that's where it started. Why dude? do they seem like the ones who wouldn't be? I don't know. And honestly, <laughs> I don't know how an underdog lover, but ever since I was born, I met my first Jew and it was my boyfriend. And then I dated five Jewish guys after that. I I swear to God, I was going to marry a Jewish person, and I think it might still happen. I could see that for you. I think I want to convert, too. You should. Even though I don't believe in God, I want to convert to Judaism because it just feels like maybe my past life, Mm. you know? You were a Jew. I won't get specific about when and where, but I feel... (laughs) Mm. Okay. In my past life, I was an alien because I went to a, um, a psychic, yeah, and she told me I wasn't from this planet. Really? Yeah. Which made me feel like really good about myself because I'm pretty sure I was abducted once, but that's like for another time. Like abducted as an alien or by the people? By an alien okay. at Girl Scout camp. Oh, fuck. You mean in this life? Yeah. In this life, I was abducted. Oh, fuck. But, but, <laughs> but I might just be remembering things wrong. No, that's it like. It could have just been lightning. It felt like a dream. <laughs> it felt like a dream. It was really weird. It was like I woke up. I was in this cabin at Girl Scout camp and 
it, I heard this really loud bang and then mm. everything turned white. Like Ooh. I could see all the windows were open. Everything turned white from inside of the cabin. And then it felt like a third person experience where I could see the cabin. And then I woke up in a separate cabin in a bed with somebody else. But maybe I just got scared and then ran to the other cabin and was like with the other girls. Cause I was so scared. I don't know. I only remember bits and pieces, but it was probably just lightning. <laughs> I think that's actually what happens when you get converted to Judaism. Oh! <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Uh, she knows better than me. It, it's way uh, simpler than that. But that sounds like either you got drugged, mm. uh, you got stolen by aliens, mm. or perhaps you had a nightmare. I think <laughs> the last one sounds pretty probable. Um, let's see. Next up. Oh, okay. Uh, hot or not. Food during sex. Okay. I want you to go first because I have a long winded one about that. Okay. Okay. I feel like ours is probably gonna be similar, but it depends on the type of food. I feel like yes. like whipped cream. Mm, yes. Give it to me. But like if somebody were to put like mm, gravy on their body, I might not be as inclined. Gravy. Mm, actually, gravy might be kind of yummy. Gravy is like the consistency of semen, but if it was like meant to be food. Okay, fine. Okay. I do like gravy. God <gasps> Wait, damn it. Can, have, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Have you ever been cammed on and you went to the shower before you wiped it off and it turns into like this, this, this substance where it's like, it it's like pilly. Yes 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 yes, 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 yes. You can like roll it into your fingers and like. Dude, I thought that was just a problem that this guy I know has <laughs> where his cum turned into a uh, little balls of cotton when I washed it away. And I said, maybe his, maybe his children are demons, but I think that's maybe just what happens, you know? I think that's also a great possibility. Uh, yeah, his children might be. No, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. No, but yeah, come do be a weird consistency. And depending on what they eat, too, that really affects the taste. My high school boyfriend, I'm not joking, only consumed Adderall and cigarettes and like the occasional slice of pizza. His cum was scary tasting. Like it tasted like if you were to lick the underside of a fucking public subway. Oh, you know what I mean? Yes. I was, he was like, why don't you swallow? I'm like, why don't you eat a fruit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Or vegetable. laughs> well, what were you going to say? Do you like food during sex? Okay. I only have one experience and it was when I lost my virginity and I did the grapefruit method right <gasps> before. I love the grapefruit method. Okay. Why was that when I lost my virginity though? I don't know. However, it was fun. Uh, that was my first Jewish boyfriend. Phil? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's actually not Jewish. Oh, my <laughs> no, bad. No, I was 14 and I was in his basement and his grandparents were visiting for Hanukkah and we had a grapefruit. Or actually, I went and got a grapefruit because I said, you know what we're going to do today? He goes, I have no fucking idea. And I brought the grapefruit out and I cut it. And he's did it like, work? Um, I think it did. This is over 10 years ago now. I'm an old ass bitch. However, I remember the orgasm that he had being ex exciting for both of us. Okay. And I like that. I like citrus a lot. So like it was my favorite, mm. um, but I've never really done food. I get really distracted. I think I have really bad ADHD. So if I were to try to do like some whipped cream stuff while I was mm. having sex, I feel like I would like accidentally light it on fire, blow it up, kill us both. I don't know how that works, <laughs> but I would the definitely, butane, or no, what is it? What's in the whipped cream? Um, what is it? Oh, well, wait, Hi hydrogen peroxide. Oh, they do whip it. They do whip it. <laughs> yes, Ni yes. Nitrous oxide. Nitrous oxide. Flammable. No? I fucking love nitrous oxide. Whip it. You ever done a whip it? I've d oh, <laughs> I went through a whip it phase. I've never I'm done not a whip it. Don't. Doesn't it make your brain go dumb? You'll fucking love it. It literally, uh, you do it and then everything just goes womp, womp, womp. womp. But everybody watching this, don't do whip it don't because whip you're going to turn stupid. Yeah, you're going to, we're not, it's okay. not a condoning. It's an experience. It's a, this is a documentary. Yes. Docu series. <laughs> okay. Next question. This is the oh, last one for hot or not. Oh, yeah. Spitting in mouths. Yeah. So I'm going to have to say hot. I'm going to have to say my pussy's wet. Oh. Yeah, um, I love it. I think that exchanging liquids. When I get real horned up and in love, my favorite thing to do is put their tongue in my mouth. And obviously saliva is involved in that. It's just like, it's sorry, I'm getting a little graphic. No, here. no, no. I like it. I'm, I don't care what you ate that day. Mm -hmm. Like, give me your saliva. I don't care if you're sick. Yeah. No. No. Oh, I would rather. It's going to build my immune system. Spit yeah. in my mouth. Yeah. Public school say what? Say what? <laughs> Oh, just pull, <laughs> press the wrong buttons at the same time. Okay. Yeah. I would spit in my male servant's mouth if he let me, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> <You're just> not. 
<laughs> Maybe next episode. <laughs> Okay. If, the, if this video gets one thousand likes, yes. If this, send it to your mom. Send it to your grandma. Send it to your favorite bitch to spit in their mouth. Yeah. And if this video gets a thousand likes, maybe our male servant will uh, let us spit in their mouth. Yeah. Right. Both of us. Both of us. I'm coming back. I don't even care. Yeah. You should <laughs> come back just to spit in his fucking mouth. I'm, I'm kicking the other guest in the nuts. <laughs> Probably the vagina. It's gonna be a woman. It will be a woman. And then I'm gonna spit in his mouth. Okay. Okay. Okay um discussion time all right well we do have 15 minutes let's go to we'll go to fan questions and then if we have any time left okay. then we'll talk about whatever we want okay um all right fan questions guys if you want to ask a question go to my instagram osully underscore seven or the podcast instagram the sos podcast official i put them out on saturdays and sunday nights boom shakalaka boom shakalaka first up what superpower would you want <laughs> You go first. I already know what mine would be. Mm. Wow. I actually have no idea. I hate flying in airplanes. They give me panic attacks. I want to die. I always think they're going to blow up or crash in the ocean. So probably to fly just for, (laughs) so I don't have to take so much Xanax. What about you? Oh, (laughs) I could see that. We were talking about Xanax earlier. Yeah. Yeah, My favorite. (laughs) Um, If I were to have a superpower, I would want to be invisible because I've just, I've always had this urge to hit people and them not know about it. So like I could inflict so much pain or I could kill the president. I'm going to kill the president. She's going to kill the president. That's a threat. That's a joke because if you threaten the president, you will get swatted by the uh, SWAT team. Yeah, I was literally just kidding. She's just she doesn't even mean that. She doesn't even know who the president is. No, I don't even know what we're talking about. We're not even in America. No, I'm the president. She's the president. I wanted to kill myself. We're in our. <laughs> eh, 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 eh. Yep. Oh, well, that's not my answer. Um. Oh, okay, okay. Is that one million? I don't know. Is that a million? Yeah, that's a million. Somebody percent. said one million percent honest. Do you, do you like girls? Do you? So I feel like we came up on this. Mm. That's honestly a great question because I'm asking myself that same question because yeah. I love making out with girls mm-hmm. and I've felt up on the girls and I've felt everything yeah. there is over the clothes, yeah. but I've never felt underneath the clothes. So never. I like it yeah. over top. A lot, but I've never gone. Okay, let's inside. let's 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 do a hypothetical right now. Okay, let's say for shits and giggles, you were born a man. Would you be a bisexual man? Would you be a straight man, or would you be a gay man? With the thoughts and the feelings that you've had, mm. don't consider any past relationships since you were a child. Just think about when you're alone and you get all horned up for no. You see a picture of somebody and you go, "What the hell? I want to have sex with that thing." <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I'd beat that pussy up. <laughs> I'd beat that pussy up. But also I guess I'd be more bi leaning too, because yeah. when I do watch porn and I have, I love gay porn. Men There's, on men or men women on, on women? men. Because uh, the disrespect, like I would just love to just the disrespect, like just fuck somebody in the ass. Like, fuck you, dude. Like yeah. this isn't supposed to happen. <laughs> You know, that's not what it was made for, but I'm doing it. Hey, if, if God didn't want men to have sex with each other, why he put the G spot in the butthole? Huh? You know what? <laughs> she made a point. Period. She made a point. Oh, no, I, uh, no, I know what you mean. Listen, back in the day, they used to stone us for being homosexual, but actually in the, in the Bible, it says man shall not lay with man as he does woman, but it never said nothing about no lesbians. You know what I mean? You heard that right. Uh, no, but uh, yeah. No, you're probably a little bisexual queen. I want, I've had urges to fuck women. So I had my Multiple. first, I had my, my first sexual experience ever, actually ever was a woman, but it was actually a, a child. Uh, <laughs> okay. This podcast is over. <laughs> I was also a child. I should probably say that, but uh, no, it was a little, it was a little cousin shit. It was weird. We were not actually related, but we were probably like five, four or five. She initiated. I had no idea what was going on. I've gotten with my close family friends yeah. who I call oh, my cousins. Like close family. No, <laughs> no. I've gotten with uh, some close family friends that I refer to as cousins. Yeah. And then things get confusing when you tell other people. Damn, you did. I thought I'm like, I get scared that people do that whenever I get introduced. Like say I'm dating somebody and they're like, oh, this is my family friend, Sam. And they're like my sister. I go, but have you fucked her? Yeah. Cause they probably have. They've all. They've definitely made out when they were children. Oh God! And it makes me jealous. It like makes me want to kill the, the imaginary kid in the scenario. You know. No, I would rather you have been married prior. Yes. Than have close family friends. Oh my God! I'd rather <laughs> like, listen. I can't even. I'm gonna get canceled. Uh, so what? Uh, yeah. yeah!
Dude, that's no. the first time I had a guest burp, I think. Really? Yes. Dude, give me seven more of these. I'll give you the craziest shit of your life. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, do you like girls? Uh, no, you? yeah. I think. <laughs> do you? Do you do really? Do you experiment? So I've already done, I've already up, been up and down the pole. The yeah. only unfortunate thing is, is that uh, the last girl that I had a sexual experience with, or actually, I think it was the first. The first one. Could I get a cheese it while she's explaining? The first, Jesus Christ. It's the taking first so long. one. Cheese it. We were both drunk, but like I had a crush on her. Everyone knew. I think I'd just broken up with a long term ex. And I was like, I'm down to eat the cat. You know what I mean? Mm. It's time to get it done. I'm fucking 20 years old. I've been watching lesbian porn since I was fucking 12 years old. Get it done. So I made it happen. Um, and then come to find out the next day, apparently I pressured her into it. You peer pressure during it? Oh! No, I didn't. The thing is, is I did not. <laughs> <laughs> He's telling us we have 10 minutes left. I thought he was like, shut the fuck up. Shut up, No, dude. I didn't pressure anyone into it, but I think she was a little embarrassed to have had a gay experience. I think her mom was a q and on her. Dude, so it, it, sorry she didn't want the rumor to get out that she was a little gay lesbian, so she um, told everybody that was a Oh, well, that's a thing. <laughs> I'm just totally joking. That never happened. <laughs> No, you're not. <laughs> I'm not joking. That did happen. But I was like, that's a horrible first experience to have with a woman. I am never going to do it again. But then I did it next week. And it was with a mutual friend. Um, and we escaped into a bedroom together. She came on to me. I go, am I just the sexiest bitch in the world? I what? think so. And then she had a boyfriend. And then we never talked again. But I think I drunk texted her a few times. Okay. I actually had a boyfriend when I had my first gay experience in eighth grade. Because yeah, it doesn't. It does I, count. <laughs> it does count. It does count. But I was making out. Mm. And honestly, dude, okay. Honesty is my best policy. I actually, Me too. yes, I actually am honest as fuck. So yeah. I made out with this chick. And then I ended up telling my boyfriend at the time, like the next day. Mm. And when I was on the phone with him, I was telling him and I was like crying and all sad. And he just kept asking for more details. Yeah. Like he was like, just get it more detail, more detail to the point where I was like, wait a second, is this turning you on? He probably was jerking it. And he was like, no, I have a boner right now. So I guess. If you cheat on certain boyfriends, they with a girl, they might just be into it. That's the thing. See, this is where I get serious for a moment. Amen. Um, I don't think that a lot of men view women as people. So when they cheat on them with another woman, it's more like just using a sex toy or like being silly with your GBF. You know what I mean? Um, because if, if you could cheat on that same man with another man that just looked a little bit like a girl, like let's imagine the same Twins, two twins, one girl, one boy look exactly like both androgynous. If there was a dick involved, he'd probably fucking <laughs> up a school. But because it was a girl, he was like, yes, baby, tell me more. My most recent ex just told me that um, he wouldn't be uh, he wouldn't be offended if I hooked up with another girl while we were dating. In fact, he would want me to take pictures. Oh, OK. Or like be like watch from the corner. And I go, that hurts me because I love you. Why would you say that? Cause I be, I, I go elbow deep. You know what? I'm not joking around. Yeah. So, when you fuck. Yeah. So yeah. if you hooked up with another girl, I would, I would kill her with a knife. <laughs> so, <laughs> so why wouldn't you do the same thing to her? Be jealous about the girl. Cause I'm, you God, never know. They just objectify us. They objectify us. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. We actually have to go fast. We have less than 10 minutes, so Sorry. let's go a little fast. Oh, what's your skincare routine? You're so pretty. I love mm. you. That's hilarious you asked that. I don't have one. Actually, what I do is I sleep in my makeup every single night, mm. and then I wake up in the morning, and then I take off some of it, or mm. sometimes I just touch it up and wear the same thing. <laughs> that slays. You have gorgeous skin, though. So. I young you're <laughs> young <laughs> no i think you're just i think you're blessed some people are genetically inclined to just slay and i think you're one of them stop because man. i know some people that sleep in their makeup and then they wake up looking like uh, the pizza from chuck e cheese you know what i mean oh but Which that shit tastes delicious it tastes delicious let me lick it to yeah. be honest let me just fucking eat that shit um <laughs> let's see oh okay this one real quick what's the most embarrassing thing to happen to you can you think of a really embarrassing thing that happened to you? It doesn't have to be yeah. the most. Uh, I can think of a lot. Hold on. Probably when the first girl I ever hooked up with accused me of <laughs> during into hooking up with okay, me. Okay. That, that'll... No, uh, probably... Oh, I was live streaming one time. And because I used to Twitch stream, I probably will get back into that soon. Watch out. I've been wanting to do that. It's really good. I'll talk to you about uh, that. <laughs> but... I was reading comments and I read everything before like looking at it truly. So I just read it as I go. And somebody, um, 
wrote their name and it was Jennifer, but unfortunately they switched out the F with a G and you can go ahead and write that out and tell me what oh. you would think that that would sound like. Oh, clipped it, went everywhere, got it in my DMS. It was horrible. Dude, something like that literally <laughs> happened to me when I was on a live stream. Really? Yes. Somebody oh asked, would you rather watch a tree grow or yeah, or I said that one too, but that's not so bad. But I was so embarrassed. Everybody started spamming the comments like, you're canceled. You're canceled. I, I got that on recording. Yeah, right. Like an employer so, will care about it. No. Honestly, most bosses are racist. Let's be real. Yeah. And that's why they I'm probably a boss. hire you more. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Next one. Next one. We got to go fast. Um, Sarah, how do you overcome daddy issues? I don't overcome them. I become them. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Uh, who is your favorite gay person you've met? This is my cousin, Mason. He's by Woo! far my favorite gay. However, um, he peer pressures me into doing things all the time, bro. He's always like, if I, if I can't go out that night, he calls me a slut or a whore. Mm -hmm. Um, if I don't want to try a new illicit drug, that's mm -hmm. not even on the market yet. Yeah. He calls me a pussy yeah. and calls me not an ally. Mm -hmm. And so I end up having to do the drugs because I don't want, yeah, exactly. I can't be homophobic. No, you can't. You're not and you won't. And so you're going to do the fucking poppers if he asks you to. And you know what? I enjoy poppers. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done poppers, but I have gotten so relaxed in my anal area that it feels like I've done a popper because that's what everyone tells me. Damn. It's like, it is like that. It just loosens her right up, which like, I love that they figured out a drug that just makes your asshole less tight. Yeah, I should probably have some on standby. They should make a drug for that for my pussy because it's just so tight. Like nobody can even get in there. It's like a little boy pussy. Oh, can't relate, dude. That shit is dude. No, I've been fisted. Oh, actually, I haven't. Have you used a diva cup before? Because that's actually really hard. No, but I've used a go girl, but that doesn't go inside your pussy. That's just to pee like a penis. Oh, you know what I'm talking about? And I, I tried to do it inside though at a toilet <laughs> and it went everywhere. You should try them outside for the first time. Yes. You have to really have it tight on your body or else it just yeah. spills out the sides. I've wanted to get sex reassignment surgery to get a dick. I would love a dick. I want a dick so bad. No, actually I've thought about that before. Like I love being a woman, but I would love to just physically have a penis. I think about what it would feel like to have a dick and put inside of things all the time. Oh, it feels so good. Just like so it's not good. normal for somebody who claims to be a cisgender person to think about that all the time. Because I microwave my mac and cheese and I go, well, if I had a dick, I could put it in there, but I can't. Damn it. You're so, you, I'm going to have you on forever now. Um, okay. Why can't Rose toys be free? Um, dude, fuck America, dude. Fuck America. Yeah. Honestly, I think sex toys should be in Kill health insurance president. and mental health. Okay. We got to go fast. Uh, are all the men who watch your podcast in time out? Yes. Yeah. As you should fucking be. And you guys have been some really bad boys. Bad boys. Really bad boys. To make up for it, send Sarah O'Sullivan uh, 150 US dollars to her P.O. box. Yeah. Um, Please and do you'll that. be allowed to watch once more. My Venmo is O'Sully underscore seven. Period. Oh, okay. Um, have you ever been with someone that has dick cheese? We have to go so fast, Ugh. but yes, and it's disgusting, and pull back the skin and wash it. <laughs> have you? Have you? Uh, no, I'd kill him with a knife. It's like that. aged Gouda. Um, how can I stop getting attached to these terrible men? They ruin me. Don't ask me. <laughs> what's a sexual fantasy that you wanted to role playing step bro step bro that'd be hot i kind of want to be a little deer oh shot i want to be you be shot with a gun be, you can't hunt me oh my god should you run around the forest naked yeah i want to be like this and shot with a dead. little tail and a little nose i'm gonna be like Ooh. shot in the head dead bambi where's Fucked. my mommy um oh. okay how far <laughs> into your relationship did red flags start appearing plus some we should look out for Honestly, I'm going to answer this for you because you'll see them before you get together. And honestly, the, you get dick blind and you're just too, you're too in love because men show you the best parts of them at first, but then they turn out to be horrible. Yeah, they ended up being horrible. I would say when he had a picture of a bottle girl's ass in his phone and he said it was a joke, that was probably oh, a, a really big red boo. flag. Um, do you like being single, pookies? Yes, I do. Give me that dick and that pussy. Um, pads or tampons? I free bleed. Free bleed. Free bleed. Free bleed. Um, what will you ask your sponsors to give you in the hunger games? Red bull, my vape and a knife. If I'm going to kill somebody, I'm going to make it personal. <laughs> I'm going to say poppers, poppers and more poppers. Okay. We got to go. Thank you guys so much for watching the podcast today. Give it up for Ava. 
And if you guys want to support the pod, like, comment, subscribe, follow, review us on Spotify, ask a fan question, tell a friend slash family member about the show. Period. We love you. We love you so much. Hoes for life.